Okay, so today we are sharpening combs and cutters. Contrary to belief, uh, you don't get like unlimited amount of sheep off each set of combs and cutters. So to cut down costs, considering combs are about $30 a piece and cutters are about 15 we have to sharpen them. We get about 5 head of sheep out of each cutter and 10 head of sheep out of each comb. That does vary with the type of sheep we're shearing and the quality of the sheep shear. So I'm going to show you what we do to get those set up for sharpening. Okay, so I've already gotten all my combs and cutters out, so I'm going to go into Dad's box and collect some of his combs and cutters. I've already gotten a few of them out. I do have to take apart this hand piece here. We're going to take off the comb and cutter off this, and we're going to sharpen that. The brand new box of combs and cutters has a different grind than the ones that we've ground ourselves. And so we do a few head off those, but then it starts to heat up, and then we go and take sharpen those so they get a few head off of them but then we sharpen them so i'm going to take this apart we got all the rest of them here we might find some more we'll see how it goes okay so we're going to take apart our hand piece here we got this really neat little wrench here it's got this side for taking apart these screws and this side takes apart this screw right here so what we're, we're going to do is we're going to open up this piece here and loosen that it's going to loosen the ferrule rod which tightens the comb and the cutter together. It takes the cutter and pushes it down against the comb. And this just slides off and this off with it. And now we got one hand piece that's all ready to go for the next set of combs and cutters. Okay, so we put all the combs and cutters in this bu little bucket with holes in the bottom because I don't like reaching through all the water and finding the combs and cutters when I put them in. So I put them in there and leave it to soak. So I'm going to take all my combs and cutters that I have here in this bag and I'm going to put them in there so that way they can soak and be ready to wash. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to select myself a comb and cutter. Grab this. And I just start by removing all that oil and grime and grease. You do not want to do this in the sink. It will plug your sink up and you will not have a happy, a happy mom when you do that. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go through and scrub off all the oil and the grease. We got a little bit of soap in here. Just take it all off, make sure it's nice and squeaky clean. See, pretty clean there, and then we're just gonna rinse it off. We set it on a towel. Same thing, same thing for the cutters. We're gonna take the cutter. What I like to do is I like to take a toothpick. I don't know if you can see it that well, but I like to take a toothpick and I clean out on the inside there. Just take out and get into the tips and stuff like that. Clean it all out, and then I take it and do the same thing that I did with the comb. Scrub it out, and rinse it off, and that's that. Nice clean cutter. Okay, all done. You got dad's combs and cutters, mine combs, my cutters. I've got quite a cl collection here. So, got these all squeaky clean, and now it's time to go and sharpen. Alright, so our grinder is all set up. We're going to be working on our cutter side first. We've got our pendulum all set up. We're going to set it so that way this little nub right here aims for that hole. And then, I don't know if you can see, but fit and then so when we're ready to do grinding we're going to take one of our cutters we're going to set it on this 
magnets are hard to work with. There we go. Like this, and what we would do is we're going to make a couple passes back and forth, and then do one long three second pass like this. And this is a cutter that is just about done for, so if you push on it, you can see that these little things will be ground off by the grinder, so we're actually going to be done with this cutter. It's pretty thin, so that one goes to the scrap pile. It's going to get loud here in a second because we'll be doing our grinder and our generator at the same time, but we're going to start off with the cutters, and then we're going to work on to the combs. Alright, so the cutters are all sharpened up, they're nice and sharp, and so we're going to stick them back on with the other ring of sharpened cutters. Okay, so the combs are all sharpened now, and I'm going to be taking a sharpening stone and just taking off the little burrs off the edges, so that way the entry into the wool is nice and smooth and there's just no burrs to cut them and stuff like that, so I'll be doing that. Here's a unique comb. It's called a lifter comb or a winter comb. We use this to leave just a little bit of wool left on the sheep for like winter shearing and stuff like that. And we have another unique comb right here as well. This is a goat comb. It's got 20 teeth and it's really good for goat's hair. Goat hair is a little bit different to shear than sheep wool, so we use a little bit different of a comb. Okay, so I've got them all sharpened and all the burrs taken off, and so now I have them sorted accordingly as far as we got the medium bevels, the miscellaneous such as goat combs and uh, winter combs, long bevels, and then we got the straight edge ones. And I'm just going to put some oil on them so that way that they don't rust while they're sitting in my comb pouch which I organize each of my combs so that way I know when I reach into my bag which ones I'm going to be grabbing on a sheep shank room so all right if you like that video please smash that subscribe button because I would love to make more videos about sheep shearing cattle hoof trimming or horse shoeing